Good morning. Good morning, Arsene. The new Premier League season is almost upon us. How are you feeling ahead of it? Well prepared and uh, ready for a fight and uh, of course uh, ambitious as well. Six games in pre-season, the Community Shield last weekend as well. How ready and prepared are your players going into Friday's opening? I feel we have a good uh, level of physical preparation and uh, all our players got a decent uh, number of minutes uh, of good competition. So overall, uh, the preparation of the squad looks good. Then it's to transform the quality of the preparation into points. And uh, that is, of course, uh, a pragmatic view. But that what matters is we win the next game and start on a, in a strong way what we did not do uh, last year and that's what we want to achieve this season. What's the best way to change that? Hopefully. Quality of the performance and uh, we play quality opponents, you know, and uh, uh, Leicester has a good uh, way to stop uh, people because they are defend very well, they are dangerous on counter-attack, so we have to put a decent pace into the game to be dangerous. I have plenty of uh, uncertainties about the players who didn't play against uh, Chelsea, will they be available or not? For example, uh, Ramsey, Ozil, uh, Mertesacker, uh, of course Kosielny is suspended. I have players coming back who have not played, uh, like Mustafi, uh, Sanchez. Sanchez will not be available, for example. So. I cannot go into the game with too many uncertainties. I can take a gamble on one, maybe maximum uh, two. But uh, I will focus more on the players who had uh, the right number of competitive minutes in the recent weeks. What's the issue with Alexis Arson? Is it just simply match fitness? No, he had a little uh, abdominal strain that he caught on uh, Sunday morning in training before he came to, to Wembley. And uh, he, had, he had a scan uh, two days ago and he's out for for a while. I don't know, is it uh, two weeks or one more week, but uh, he will not be available. So possibly at least two weeks out? Uh, I think uh, he will not play at Stoke, yes. How do you feel about that? How much of that? How long is that? Uh, always for us, it's, uh, it's uh, Alexis Sanchez is a loss, of course, but uh, we had all the other players prepared uh, f in pre-season and uh, are all ready and it can happen in the preparation. Anyway, I don't think I would have uh, included him, certainly, at, on uh, Friday night, but I um, don't think I would have started him. How's he been around the training ground? What's his frame of mind like at the moment? Of Sanchez? Focused. Of course, when you have treatment uh, <laughs> on a medical bench, it's not easy. What can you take from the performance against Chelsea? But, but uh, the quality of the performance is on the continuity of uh, our end of season, where we had a strong finish. And uh, so overall, we looked uh, to have a desire to play. Uh, hunger to to play together and to win, and uh, so these are very interesting qualities. But uh, it's to maintain that and uh, go from game to game with the same hunger. Strong end to the season last season, but, but still didn't end up where you wanted to be. No, but uh, certainly because of the we made seventy five points. You know we have. Uh, maybe four points more than the season before, but it was not enough and uh, we have to do more. What's the target this season? The target is very difficult to set, you know, what you want. Uh, uh, you can interview seven to eight uh, Premier League managers who will tell you we want, they want to win the league and they are very ambitious and rightly so. But uh, so let's just focus on us, on our quality and uh, get into the games with uh, the desire to win every game, what is needed, I don't know. Uh, how strong are the other teams is very difficult to predict as well because we have some uh, who have been very active on the transfer market. I will trans that transform in uh, quality. 
Uh, it's very difficult to predict. But just on the transfer market, Arsene, following that Neymar deal, which I know you've spoken about, how did you feel about Premier League clubs possibly benefiting from clubs like Barcelona? If they deal with Barcelona, they're going to receive potentially inflated transfer fees. What impact does that have on the other Premier League clubs? How does that make you feel? Well, it has a consequence because uh, the money will uh, circulate and rotate from one club to the other. The money that Barcelona got will uh, uh, go somewhere else. Uh, will come to the Premier League? I don't know, certainly. When you listen to transfer rumours, some of it will uh, travel to England. But at the end of the day, it's only numbers. And uh, you, despite the number, the number of top players is not increasing, you know. And uh, that means uh, all of that, uh, what you want is to have the best players in the English league and not in any other European league. We want to be the best league and therefore it's important that uh, the best players stay in England. And just finally for me, on Alexis, we spoke to Nasser Al Khalifa the other day. Khalifi. Khalifi. Always mispronounced his surname, apologies. No problem, no problem. He, uh, he told us last week that he said that if he did want Alexis, he would just speak to you. He said he's got great relations with you, with this club. Can you say whether he's been in touch? Have they ended their interest in him? What's the negotiation? Uh, no, we have not. It's a long time I didn't speak to Nasser. Uh, because he was certainly very busy to complete the triumph of Neymar. And uh, it's a long time I didn't speak to him. Are you expecting him to get in touch? In the final few no. No. I think there are... If you read the French papers, they are on uh, Mbappé's case uh, to finish their transfer market. Do you think? Do you think they'd rather go for Mbappé than Sancho? Look, I, uh, that's what I read in the papers, and on my side, I had no contact at all with Paris Saint Germain. Arsene Morning is Alexis on the other side. He might be signing a new contract. It's all is possible, you know, when the players go in the final year of a contract, uh, uh, we will try to extend the contract because there is no reason why we shouldn't do it. But we have no, we are not uh, there yet. Um, the, you've won the FA Cup, you've won the Community Shield, mm -hmm. the fans seem to like the new signings. A lot of that negativity appears to have gone from last season. Is that something you would, you would agree with? Yes, of course, but uh, you know that uh, first of all, that this is a battle that you never won definitely, and that uh, is all linked with the results uh, that uh, we will make and the way we we play football. You have to accept the verdict, the public verdict, and uh, we have just to make sure that uh, we keep everybody on our side. It's ideal to have everybody on our side, but uh, that is down to the performances we really have. And in in recent season, Germany got off to the best start, in particular at home. So it's even more important that you need to win on Friday to keep that ne negativity away. Yes, of course. But uh, statistically, we not always lose the first game. You know, uh, it's true that in the recent years we had uh, uh, down to some special circumstances sometimes because it's after World Cup, after European Championship, when you had many players who were not ready to start the season as well. On top of that. Uh, uh, we had always quality opponents, uh, West Ham, Liverpool, and uh, now we have Leicester. So we have a good opportunity to show that you had a good preparation and that you are ready. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain has been linked with a move to Chelsea. Is he still part of your plans? And he signed six years ago uh, yesterday, I believe. Did he make the progress you hoped he would have made in six years? Yes, I, I, I think uh, yet uh, in his career. Uh, some bad moments because he had some uh, small injuries. Last year he was much more stable. I, I personally, I think he's a hugely talented player. He's on the way up, and uh, but he will continue to move up uh, because he had the potential uh, is there. He's uh, today very uh, con conscious of his qualities as well, what he was not always, and uh, I personally uh, believe he will be a very great player, Alex Chamberlain. And, and the last one for me, Theo Walcott told me that uh, Kalasnach is a, an animal. How would you describe him? Uh, he has the force of, a, of an animal, certainly. Uh, 
But uh, I just think that Koya Sinac is a good player and that he, he has an attitude, you know, that is suited to the Premier League. That means he's uh, determined, uh, he's aggressive and forceful and uh, wants to play. And that's in our club, that is vital, that every time we win the ball we want to play and he's available to play. Sandra Ospina had been the, the subject of some speculation this summer as well with, mm. with talks about a possible move to Fenerbahce. Now it certainly seems like he's staying for, for another season. Was it harder to convince him to stick around this year when there's no Champions League role mm, yeah. offered? It was uh, not easy because, of course, all these players uh, want to play. They are top-level players. They want to go as well to the World Cup. and. Uh, but he will get the number of games here as well and he fights with Peter Cech and uh, the fight is quite open. At the moment I, uh, I play Peter Cech but this battle is not won uh, definitely by Peter Cech because I rate highly Ospina and anyway we play uh, other competitions and uh, he will play. Last one, Martin. Awesome. Brian mentioned interest from Paris Saint-Germain in Alexis. Uh, has there been any, any offers for Alexis? I know you're, you're saying stay, but have there been any bids at all? <sighs> I can tell you that at the moment. I just think uh, we are not open, uh, what I said to many times, to any offers anyway. And I know you said on Sunday you are looking to move some players on because of the size of the squad. Have you got any closer to, to anyone leaving? No, uh, at the moment. I Even yesterday I had a manager's meeting and uh, talking with the other managers in uh, other clubs. It looks like uh, everywhere there's many, many players, you know, and uh, there's a congestion at the moment uh, everywhere.